Today, July 11th, 2019, the Accra High Court continued to detain Ghanaians living, working, studying, and ministering abroad in limbo. The court dismissed a suit aimed at holding EC Chairperson Jean Menser in contempt of a previous court order to complete the implementation of a voting procedure for Ghanaians living abroad. This dismissal clearly violates the rights of Ghanaians living abroad who remit over $6 billion a year to Ghana yet continue to be denied the right to vote by the stranglehold of the NDC and MPP on the EC. Each incoming administration, whether NDC or MPP, made personal changes at the EC ensuring that Act 699 would not be implemented. As we move closer to the 2020 elections, the ruling party uses the EC as their personal toy to suppress the rights of Ghanaians living abroad. Act 699 was passed over 13 years ago, affirming the rights to vote for those citizens living abroad. A procedural system that would allow Ghanaians to vote has been purposely stalled for over a decade and still counting. Five Ghanaians stood up for the basic voting rights of all citizens. They filed a case with the Accra High Court demanding that the Electoral Commission be ordered to comply with implementing Act 699. On December 18th, 2017, the court ruled in favor of Ghanaians living abroad. The court gave the Electoral Commission one year to comply with its, with its order. To stall the implementation of voting rights, the Kufu Ado and the MPP have pulled another trick out of their game bag with Jean Mensah. Just as John Mahama and NDC did with Charlotte Osei. The charade continues with the court dismissing contempt charges against EC Chairperson Jean Menzer for failing to meet the deadline for implementation. Together, we must demand an end to the new colonialism of the NDC and MPP. We demand a professional independent EC that will put in place the laws of the land, guaranteeing voting rights for every citizen. Today, we say the game is over. The NDC and MPP promised their commitment to implement ROPA. Really? It was just another lie. The elections of 2008, 2012, and 16 have come and gone, and over 3 million Ghanaians living abroad are still without the vote. They deserve to vote in the 2020 elections. We as a people won't be fooled. We know that today's court dismissal is yet another stalling tactic to withhold the vote from the over 10% of our fellow citizens who are abroad. Enough is enough. Every Ghanaian abroad and at home must come together and oppose the second class citizenship status of those citizens deprived of their vote. The citizenship rights of over 3 million Ghanaians who live abroad are left in limbo. As the NDC and MPP encourage stalling the ROPA until after the 2020 election, I wonder why. We must demand the shackles of the new colonialism of the NDC and MPP be cast off. We deserve, are entitled to, and demand that every citizen has the power to exercise their right to vote. This 2020, Let's retire the NDC and MPP for good. They have brought us as far as they can take us, 
we need a new vibrant thoughtful competent and functional independent leadership to take us further enough is enough thank you